Oh. Apple's latest offering of the Mac Pro looks exactly like my router. Yes, it looks exactly like my latest router for my internet service provider. So, maybe that's what they got the idea from? Or from a fucking cheese grater? Like, seriously. All they did was change the case on it, and literally they make it that much harder for people to physically upgrade the components. Like, uh, come on, hello? We know this is Apple. We know that historically... Actually, no, I shouldn't say historically, because that's not true. But more recently, with the Mini and that, and their laptop line, it's made it harder for people to physically upgrade the RAM. The solid-state disk, you know, and the Wi-Fi card, if they wanted to. Open up the latest one, you'll see. How much can you actually upgrade? Is the battery able to be upgraded or replaced? Probably still, if it's not soldered on the board. Which means you'd have to solder each individual wire. Desolder, resolder. Now, that MacBook thing. Uh, I don't... It's not going to really appeal my interests at all. Like, nothing. They're going to re probably require special stupid adapters just to use it. If possible, if they went that route. Like, seriously. It looks like a freaking cheese grater. To be all honest. And there's nothing special about a MacBook. There's nothing special. It runs... Let's just say it's, it's basically just 8 cores. And you want to say that? 6,000. Ah, uh, the funny part is... Look at the other, uh, look at their Apple's competition. They already have machines that literally, you can build your own machine that's got 16 or 20 core, if you know where to look. It may cost a bit of money, a bit more, but it's completely worth it, and you're not strung and trapped on using Apple's operating system. You're not stuck with OS X. You can use everything. Windows, which I would avoid using at all costs you can use any Linux or Unix operating system and if it's Intel based you can use any Mac operating system on it likely with minimal difficulty to get installed e hack and hosh root or direct booting off a disk if it works and uh, I know some actually would work that way because I did that I do have a disk and it did actually boot off one machine surprisingly and I was like thinking it's not supposed to work and yet it booted off of it I forgot to make it a machine this is two and a half years ago but yeah back to this it looks like a phenomenal cheese grater and I don't think it's completely upgradable and they're selling their pro display you can use any display it doesn't have to be an apple display <sighs> oh yeah they also use Exiana processors which basically are just server processors. And there's so many memes. I'm scrolling by on Twitter right now to look. Too many memes. They charge so much for the stand. Which costs even more. And for the display to mount it on a wall. Like really. I knew there was going to be some. Uh... Wow. Anyways. We're talking about servers here. That's what, that's what uh, Apple's is. It's a freaking server. You can only use server RAM to upgrade it, if you even have the ability to do that. You're not going to be able to use regular desktop RAM in that. It's got to be registered. Yeah, RAM's got to be EEC registered. Sorry, that's out of my... I'm not going to basically waste time buying a server just to get that. Or maybe I might. That's basically if I want to get a cool with a MacBook, I get a server. That's all I got to say. Thank you. Peace out.